Hi everybody. Well, I've, I've given up. <laughs> I got, you know, after that road, I, I think I had isolated where the, um, where the ball bearing factory was. I started to head that direction and then I started getting concerned about uh, making it to the beach. And then I uh, started heading that away. And then I started really feeling exhausted and tired. And uh, just had to head home. Yeah, I gave up. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. A lot of times I do that. But I guess it's not. I guess it's not so much how many times you give up as but as many. You know, way it's the old sentiment. You need to pick yourself up and, and try again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My daughter's gonna be a little bit upset at me. I made a deal with her last night that if she did all of her homework by the time I got home from work, that uh, I would stay out tonight, sleep, you know, not come home. I know that sounds mean. She was so excited. <laughs> She's at that age now, she's 11 now, where uh, uh, Papa's the most uncool guy in the world. And uh, it's, I think it's fashionably cool, at least I hope that's what it is, to, uh, to not want to have anything to do with me anymore. I, uh, I talk about this with the uh, teachers at the school. I work at an elementary school, talk with, it about, with some of the teachers there, especially the older female teachers that... I don't know why I say female, but it seems like they have that, you know, they're the, they're the matronly type, you know? They seem to have the, sentim, the sensibilities of, uh, of, um, of motherhood, you know, and I respect the sensibilities of motherhood. I respect the sensibilities, I, I, uh, or could I almost wanted to say the practicalities. Now there, that's an alleyway to investigate. I'm gonna do it, let's go that way. Whoa, jeez, I just got scared by my backpack. <laughs> I thought my backpack was, oh, my backpack's chasing me. Let's go down this alleyway. Ah, oh, heck with it. So, I guess the practicalities of fatherhood and the sensibilities of motherhood. Does that sound sexist? I don't know. I think fathers typically uh, tend to lean more on the practical side. Ooh, wow, look at that. Let's go down there. Where does that go? Let's come on, let's see. Find out. Do, 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 do. Now I'm in between two giant buildings. The sensibilities of fatherhood, the practicalities of, of motherhood. Anyway, those, uh, the uh, proud matrons of my school. I respect them. I admire them. Ooh, I'm in a factory. I'm behind a cordon thing. I shouldn't be here. Let's go back. So I asked them about it, and they said, "What?" I told them, oh, "My daughter doesn't, you know, she doesn't want me around anymore." And they said, "That's totally normal." They said, "It's actually, I see lights coming this way for these lights to go past." Pardon me. And she said, "That's totally normal, to be expected." And they say, "Actually, that it's a good thing." They said that uh, girls that can go that go through that stage uh, at this age. Usually we'll come to uh, come back to Papa later and after high school. So I guess I've got a so little few years ahead where my daughter won't think I'm less than optimal. <laughs> Was I ever anything anything more though? Hey, we've uh, broke on through to another road. Good. See, that's what happens. You just uh, embark on some dark, secluded place, and well, either one or two things then end up happening. You get chased by a backpack, <clears throat> or you end up dead. <laughs> and only one happened, the backpack. And I, was, uh, I have to be careful. Rice paddies over there. So we'll just walk along here. So my daughter's not going to be so happy. Ooh, an ab abandoned farm compound. Can you see it? This whole dark area right there? That's a farm compound. There's a field right there. Can you see the reflection? Uh, yeah, it's too dark for anything for you guys to see, huh? Wow. That's huge. That's probably a big enough compound there for, you know, a family of 15. It's immense. Big old courtyard out there. I'm seeing these kind of places all over the place. Um, out here in Fukuroi. The place where I used to live. Came out here to seek out a ball bearing factory from my past where I used to live. I worked, couldn't find it, just got lost and confused and couldn't make it to the beach and was feeling like crud. 
gonna go home. So like I said, you I went through all that already, right? So I kinda I kinda failed in this endeavor. I'll go home and my daughter's not gonna be happy to see me. She says, hey, you probably should stay away, you did your homework. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day she'll forgive me. That's a while now. Here we go. Another street to go down. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> Truth be told, I kind of have a vague idea that it's that o that Fukuro train station is that way, and I'm kind of I kind of have to be careful because there's a last the concept of the last train, and I'm still you know several kilometers away from that. So I kind of kind of have to stay on the on the right track. See, now we're back on through to the light, right? So we took a little adventure. So I failed at my first adventure, but I succeeded at this one. We went into the dark. We ended up in a place that uh, you're not supposed to be necessarily. And that's always a good thing if you can return and you left it undamaged and you can have a memory or something to share. And I shared it with you. So I guess that's a, a, that's like a bit of a worthy endeavor. So maybe this adventure was not a failure after all. And I'll go home and... You know what I'll do? I'll get ice cream. Yep. I won't... Not now. It'll melt... <laughs> I like that time I put the ice cream in my pocket when I was a kid. Yeah, smart move there, buddy. Fudge sickle in the pocket. <laughs> Have you ever heard of melting? So before I get home, I'll stop and get ice cream and chocolate for the for the family. And uh, well, if I can't uh, uh, sucker them with my love, S U C C U R. I think that's the word I'm going to say. Not S U C K E R. Although maybe that's a little of both. <laughs> Could those two words have a curious uh, similarity? Look at those, those birdies flying around in this gas station. Birdies. Okay, and Chinese food. So, with Chinese food and birdies, I'll give you guys... I wasn't picking my nose, I was doing this. This would be like I was picking my nose. <laughs> so we've turned failure into success. Yes, I will leave you with, with that thought. Endeavor to turn failure into success at every opportunity. Yes, I shall try. And I shall squish my hat on, resolve forward to wherever the heck I'm going that away, make it to the train station in time, go home, buy chocolate for my family, and reclaim the love of my daughter. Maybe not tonight, but maybe in another 10 years. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me on a weird adventure today. Bye.